you five habits which if you follow if you adopt religiously nobody in this world can stop you from becoming a j topper let's get started the first one and this deserves to be your number one is revision and short notes you can talk to as many j toppers as you want to one thing that they all will say commonly is that j is a game of regular repeated revision you know studying a lot of different chapters or consuming a lot of information does not matter what matters is how much of that can you retain and store in your memory for a longer time okay and that is why in every couple of days you must dedicate some time to revise the older stuff you know what you've learned previously maybe the topics that you've learned the last week or maybe the last month because you know there's absolutely no point it makes absolutely no sense in learning new at the cost of erasing the old right now one thing uh, with which you can accelerate your revision and make it speedy is preparing short notes as well as flash cards so what you have to do is the moment you get done with a particular chapter then and there stop and write it down in a short and sweet summarized manner in a single sheet of paper all right also whatever important formulas you came across that chapter or any result which you feel is very important but you might forget all of that you can write in a little tiny flash card or a cheat sheet you can stick it around anywhere in your study area so that you are able to see it more often whenever you pass by or you can just keep it handy this will enable you to revise quickly and fast the second one and this is extremely important it is pyqs and mock test papers you know previous year questions it's a huge bank and moreover it is a true treasure it is true gold and this is something which the j toppers understand very well that is why majority of their time is spent not just solving the pyqs but also exploring them analyzing them why because through pyqs you get a complete clarity about the examiner's mindset about the weightage of different topics different chapters across the entire syllabus and that gives you a chance to strategize your preparation accordingly see you must understand people that if you want to ace a competitive exam like j what you must know is that smart work dominates over hard work another thing which uh, you know distinguishes it separates a ranker from an average student is that a ranker realizes that pain plus reflection is equal to progress that is why after every regular interval they keep taking mock tests and they analyze each mock test very thoroughly very honestly of course like of course it highlights their silly mistakes their weak areas their temperament issues but that does not motivate them to a level that they cry upon it they become hopeless and they stop no they take all of that as their learning and they improve upon them they rectify them in the next mock test they sit for and that is what they keep on doing keep on doing till the time they reach their benchmark number 3 and no surprise is here it is time management you know when you go through the preparation journey of almost all the students who've cracked j with flying colors one thing that you will see in common is that they all prepare a detailed study schedule which they follow very strictly very religiously very honestly you know a study schedule in which what exactly has to be done in every hour is mentioned now you would be wondering what is the advantage of preparing you know a weekly timetable that to so much in detail i'll answer that question for you see motivation comes in waves we all are humans we cannot always be equally motivated there are days when the motivation is high there are days when the motivation is low 
But does that mean that when you feel motivated on those days you study and when you don't feel that motivated on those days you don't study? No, right? It's plain immaturity. So what should you do? Well, when motivation fails, discipline comes into action. This is the mantra which all the J toppers swear by and live by. To ensure that they are disciplined and consistent throughout their preparation journey, they prepare this detailed study plan. Yes, because they understand that, you know, on the days when you are not that motivated, when the spirits are not that high, even then, even then, when you do the task which is supposed to be done in that hour, for example, solving, say, 30 PYQs or revising a certain topic, when you keep achieving these small, small targets, that is what brings motivation. And that is what charges you to study further. Got it? One more very magical benefit of preparing a detailed study timetable is that without realizing, without realizing, you end up devoting majority of your time, your energy, your attention towards your priorities, towards your goal. And as a result of that, there is no time left to be wasted into distractions like scrolling through social media or binge watching or, you know, getting involved in other unnecessary activities. So it's a win-win. Number four, well, this one is a very small thing and a very big thing at the same time. It is doubt solving. You know, one thing which all the J toppers very strongly realize is that when you don't clear your doubts, maybe because you take them for granted, you feel, okay, I'm going to clear them later, or you don't give them that much importance, or you feel that your doubts are silly. You shy away from asking doubts because you have this scare of being judged by your teacher or by the students. You know, be it any case, any reason, all you're doing is inviting your own loss. Because one thing you must understand, people, that the syllabus of J is such that the chapters, the topics, the concepts are interconnected. They are interlinked. They are dependent on one another. So when you face a doubt in a certain topic and you ignore it, it may land you up in trouble in the next topic. Okay? That is why clearing it up then and there should be non-negotiable. Okay? Because, you know, it's like a snowball effect. When you have one doubt which is not solved, which is not cleared, it automatically creates another doubt. Then another, then another. And before you know it, you have a huge pile of doubts. And when you have such a huge collection of unsolved doubts, you can never, ever feel confident with your preparation. Okay? So make sure, make sure doubt solving is something which you take damn seriously. Number five, do not overburden because it only leads to burnout. You know, when you talk with any scholar, a student who consistently performs or scores well in their exams, be it school exams or in any competitive environment, one thing that he or she will definitely agree upon is that taking out time to refuel, recharge and replenish is a must. You know, you must understand that your mind is a muscle. If you want to build it, if you want it to become even stronger, you have to give it recovery time. Similarly, your body is like a machine. It gets tired. From time to time, it needs oiling. It needs servicing to perform better for a longer time. And that is why you must make sure that you are including sufficient breaks in your study regime. In those breaks, you can take a small short nap or you can go out for a run or, you know, perform any simple exercise or maybe just listen to music or play guitar. Or if not any of this, then you can just sit, relax, close your eyes, perform some breathing exercises. That's it. Choose anything. What you must understand is that this is not waste of time. In 
Instead, this is investment of time into activities which lead to more productivity, more focus, and that improves the quality of your output. That's it from my side, people. So these are the five habits, the five golden rules. Follow them religiously and you are bound to become the next J-topper. All the best.